Hello, Sifu John Cosma again. We're going to continue uh, working on using the, the breathing and the motions of the body together, uh, working conjoined. Uh, this make everything work together. This is very good mindfulness skills. If people are working on that in the class, it's excellent for relaxation. It's excellent for just focus and, and being able to make positive change in your life. And it's a coping skill you ever always, always, always have with you. I've been through uh, a number of things and have other things that I have worked on and continue to work on in my life, including panic anxiety disorder, migraines, um, other mood issues and things like that. Uh, sometimes get very socially. This helps me work on all of those things. So there's something uh, you might look up and it's called Yi Chuan. And it's uh, every time you hear like Chuan in uh, Chinese uh, martial arts or Zhang in the, in the, the idea of Bagua Zhang, we're talking about uh, fist or boxing, it's a martial art. Uh, we're not going to go over any martial applications with this, but there's a lot of things combined with that, especially if we're talking about internal Kung Fu, internal martial arts, that can help in all those other ways as well, relaxation, meditation, health, all those other things, being able to make that positive internal change in your mind and in your body. Each one is a series of standing, it's almost, they call it static, standing postures. The one you'll always see, Zan Zong, stands around like this, like you're holding a really big ball. Uh, there's some variations you might see, like some Chen Tai Chi people stand like this, a little bit bend in the knees, but most of the time it's in here. Um, I wish I would have taken it more seriously when I was first starting out uh, over 17 years ago. Uh, I'm trying to catch up with it a little bit since. Uh, but that's included in these series of eight postures. Now, we're not going to actually stand in these static postures with this exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to use, like we did, we're going to build on that, that expand and squeeze, that expand and squeeze. We're going to kind of expand that idea, moving into these eight different postures. If you wish, if it's not something that is too traumatic for you or doesn't remind you of anything, any one of these eight postures I'm going to show you, you can stand in. It'll help teach the body how to sit, how to relax. It'll help move that breath and blood. And if you want to talk about energy or chi, it'll help get that moving and um, being able to refine it into the body as well. It'll also help you learn how to relax because if you're going to stand in a posture like this for any length of time, either you're going to freak out and something's going to hurt or you're going to start to learn how to relax pretty quickly. So all these also have variations. So you can vary this one to pushing out. You can vary this one, change your foot, change the level of your arms, and you can do all these different things uh, to do it as well. So you can combine all this other stuff. There's an uh, internal master named uh, Bruce Kumar Francis, and he talks about the 200 Taoist uh, standing postures that they use for uh, uh, different uh, meditations and things like that, and all these other martial arts that have come out of China are based in some form or another on some of those 200 postures. So we're going to work on some of those now. Again, um, we're talking about meditation, we're talking about relaxation, we're talking about mindfulness and focus, we're talking about being able to function better in our day-to-day -day thing. I'm not converting anyone to anything. All I'm trying to do is share some things that I know have helped me and others that I know. I've talked, you know, I got migraine, uh, anxiety, panic problems, things like that, mood issues. My teacher uh, even has epilepsy and doesn't take any medication for it. He uses these practices to be able to work on that himself when he can start feeling something coming on. So they work, and they work in a ton of different ways, not because I read it out of a book, but because I've done it. So the Yi Chuan postures, just to review them quickly for you, one, two, so same thing, just kind of expanded, three, fingers point towards each other and the palms are down, four, watch, I just rotate out. From the elbows and there's a little space, a little fist space between my arm and my body so I'm not collapsed and I'm not super big either so nice and relaxed. So that's four, 
the one we talked about, five, six. All we're doing is changing the angle of the elbow. At six, seven, lifting up. But watch, my shoulders don't come up to my ears, do they? No, my shoulders stay down. So, boom, seven, now palms down, eight. So we're gonna run up and then come back down. So we're gonna use breathing number two, where we breathe in, pull the lower abdomen, that center that we called it in. We breathe out, push. We do a couple more breaths to reset ourselves. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe in, and breathe out. I'm gonna bring my hands to the sides. I'm gonna breathe in, pull my hands in front of the center, breathe out. Breathe in, expand past the hips. Breathe out and hold. Breathe in, turn the palms down, fingers towards each other. Breathe out and hold. Breathe in, rotate the hands at the elbows. Breathe out and hold. Breathe in, bring the palms in towards the chest and raise them to shoulder height and hold. Breathe in. Change the angle of the elbow, 45 degrees, point up at an angle. Breathe out and hold. Breathe in. Just lift the hands like they're being lifted by strings. You're not doing any work. The strings are above the head. Exhale and hold. Breathe in, turn the palms down. Fall out, we're at an angle with the body. Breathe out and hold. We're going to do another breathe in, breathe out, we're going to reverse. So we're going to breathe in, rotate the palms up, turn in towards the head, breathe out, hold. Breathe in, let the hands come down, the wrists should be about at the shoulders, and breathe out and hold. Breathe in, turn the wrists, expand the arms, breathe out and hold. Breathe in, turn the palms out, just like we did with the shoulders, but out the hips. And breathe out and hold. Breathe in, rotate in, palms down, point the fingers towards each other, hold. Breathe in, hands at the hips, just outside. Breathe out and hold. Breathe in, squeeze. Breathe out and hold. Now you can do other stuff with this too. So I'm going to start at one. I'm going to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and lift, breathe out and down, breathe in, come back, even start here and then breathe out. So you can play with it in different ways. You can even just take two, like we did here. You can take one, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, or breathe in, breathe out, in, out, in, and out, breathe in, 
and out. You can do all sorts of different things as we go. One thing I do want to show, uh, since we were starting to bring the hands up in the body, one of the things I like to do, and I was taught, just to kind of clear if anything is kind of flying around in the head. Uh, if I don't do this when I do certain meditations, it starts triggering migraines for me. Take the palms, rub the palms together. Place the palms on the eyes, and from the eyes, back the head, all the way back, and down the jawline. We do that three times. Gets everything clear, helps kind of rebalance some of the, uh, the blood pressure and everything in through the head and with the body as well. What you can also do if you feel like it, gentle with the palms or even the fingertips, just tap, gently tap, gently tap, all the way down, hit everything here, down the arms, down the chest and abdomen, the obliques, the back, and you can come down through the legs and through the feet as well. Again, just gentle fingertips, gentle with the palms, just kind of resetting everything. Again, trying to get rid of some of those blockages if any of them have happened to have built up during that time. Thank you once again. I'm Sifu John Cosma, and we will see you soon.